her power, his will, and my genius. An unsurpassable feat. Ramblings most unsane. Poor Balthazar, for maggots ate his brain long ago. Hold your tongue, Aelin, or I'll take it away from you again. And you, no more questions, no more interference. Dead man, you haven't been paying attention, have you? Perhaps I'll revive your carcass and add you to my retinue. Then you'll have all the time in the world to think on your mistakes. Let us make short work of this. to put an end to your follies. Balthazar has drawn his final rancid breath. <laughs> A pity it was not my hand that brought it about. Instead, it was you. You, who have come to seek the praise of your wicked goddess. You, who have come to drive a dagger through my heart. Not a dagger, a spear. My Lady Shah's spear. Her fate is mine to seal, let me handle this. The fate you seal is your own. To be a dark justicia is to turn your heart from everything but loss. You will know no love, no joy, only servitude. Until, of course, your mistress inevitably discards you. And there is much she does not tell you. A terrible blood price that may extend beyond my own death. You feel Shadowheart bristling. This is important to her. But your bond is strong. You may yet be able to sway her from the path of duty to the path of light. And Nightsong is not blind to your conflict. Behind that raging heart is the restless beat of one who knows too well that her fate hangs in the balance. Cannot allow! This is my mistress's will, my life's purpose! I can't believe I did that. Shah will disown me. Now I'm truly lost. You were already lost, little warrior. A lost child, frightened by wolves. What did you say? Much has been promised to you, hasn't it? 
But what has been taken from you? What do you know of your own heart? Your own life? Lay a hand on me in friendship, not quite Sharon. And I will fight the battle that has been waiting for me this last century. Then, oh then, we will have much to discuss. Lady of Silver, hear me. She who guides the Moon Maiden Saluna, mother of the so called Night Song, the Night Song is no more. given me a great gift, little warrior. Don't you find it oh so curious that you would spurn your dark lady? Perhaps you feel a staring of the truth already. But that will come later. There is a battle yet to be fought. You have done what we feared was impossible. You have released me from a century of sorrow. Your power is great. So too must be your weapon. You must choose what you will wield. And the Moon Maiden will provide. Thus I have said, thus will it be so. Are you ready? <laughs> to kill Ketherick Thorn. We need to leave. Lady Shah won't stand for us to be here, not after what we did. That's what frightens me. She must be angry. Yet, I don't feel it. Or hear it. There's only silence. Let's get out of here, please. Whatever's coming, I don't want to be in the heart of the Shadowfell when it finds me. The Night Song will be headed for Moonrise Towers. We'd better get there and see what she's unleashed against Ketherick Thorn. for a moment. I... I thought I was done for. I thought perhaps I might have been dead. This... This is all like some sort of terrible dream. But it's real, isn't it? I stood before the night song. I heard Lady Shah's words. And I failed her. Worse than failed her, I defied her just because of what that Asimar said. I tried to leave, but Shah blocked me, punished me for failing her. 
I thought I knew the limit of pain that the incurable wound could inflict, but I had no idea. It felt like I was suffering the agony of a thousand people all at once. My blood was boiling, my hair was on fire. I thought I'd claw my own face off with the pain. But then she released me. Banished me, more like. She said I was an outcast. That all of her children would know me and revile me. Shadowheart looks distraught, abandoned by her goddess and all former allies. And as for her divine magic, admitting who empowers her now may break her spirit for good. I suppose I do, don't I? You've done more to help me than my faith has in recent times, if I'm honest. Thank you. There's been something between us for some time. A connection. More than friends. I recognized it, but didn't act on it. I thought my faith was the most important thing in my life. I couldn't have been more wrong. I've squandered too much time already. I want to be with you. Now and always. Do you want the same? It wasn't too long ago that I could never imagine smiling again. Shows what I know. Night Song promised she'd tell me something about myself. I need to speak with her as soon as I can. What she said to me back in the Shadowfell about the wolves. That's no coincidence. She took flight to hunt down Kethric Thorm. All I can do is help hasten his demise. And hope that answers soon follow. There you are. What's happening out there? Who was that streaking across the sky? An immortal. But it couldn't possibly be. Never mind. It doesn't matter. What matters is you have him in a corner. Jahira and every fighting body in this place have gone to Moonrise Towers to face Ketherick down. She's waiting for you there. End this. Now, we're all counting on you. I know the name. Halson spoke of him. Something about the spirit of the land. The patient is physically well, but psychologically detached. Dissociated from himself. He's been in the Shadowfell. All memories will have been stripped away. We need to remind him who he is. Some personal effects, maybe? Hmm. <laughs> Daniel and me are climb, climb, climbing up a tree. We are fearsome, black and red. We are living. We are dead. Loot. He's still trapped there. He needs help. My loot. You got it back. How? You killed a thorn. The Catherick's elite. How did you? Never mind. He needs us. 
needs our help. I've been lost in the shadows so long. And I met a boy there too, Thaniel. He's the only reason my mind survived that emptiness, that loss. He told me about someone he knew, someone called Hausen, a druid. Thaniel spoke of little else. Do you know him? I was freed to find you. It's fate. You and I were meant to meet to save Thaniel. Bring Halson as soon as you can. The Shadowfell is no place for a child. Especially a child like Thaniel. You wish to speak? A survivor? Sylvanus blesses us. This could be just the person we need to speak to. I will go to see him at once. Join me when you can. Your Halsin. Thaniel said to find you. You must help him. Please. I will, but I need to know where Thaniel is. If I venture into the Shadowfell blind, I will never find him. I'm not sure I can put it into words. The landscape there shifts and changes. Lavender. Whenever I saw Thaniel, I always smelled lavender. I can work with that. Rest now. We have what we need to proceed, and not a moment too soon. A winged Asimov flew overhead, and now an assault is brewing against Moonrise. I still need your help. Meet me by the lake shore and be prepared. What comes next could prove perilous. You're here. Good. Now we can begin. Very well. Once I begin the ritual, a portal to the Shadowfell will open, one that will help me save Thaniel. Whatever happens, I must go alone. No. This opportunity has been a hundred years in the making. It has to be me. And only me. But I didn't bring you here to witness an old druid's grandstanding. You have a part to play in this, and I trust you will play it well. With the Oak Father's blessing, I can infiltrate the Shadowfell, but doing so will sap my strength. I'll need your help if I'm to return. I need you to stay here, keep the portal open until I return, and defend it at all costs. Good. Now it's important that only I pass through the portal once it opens. The magic is fragile, any mistake, and our one chance will be lost forever. It took me years of study, of seeking the Oak Father's favor, to find a way to part the veil. Pray that this works. Oak Father, hear me, aid me. Force open the jaws of darkness. Make passage for your vessel of light. It's ready. I'll return with Thaniel as soon as possible. Stay close to the portal. Buy me what time you can. It's done. I have him. <gasps> but something's wrong. Dreadfully wrong. No. It can't. 
can't be. Yes. I'll bring him back to camp. He'll be safest with us. I need to examine him. I need to understand what's wrong. It's almost like something's missing from him. Come see us when you can, and be careful out there. Forces may be rallying against Moonrise, but Ketherick Thorm is most dangerous when cornered. I know from experience. Thaniel is resting, but it's no easy slumber. I discovered what's wrong with him. The shadows rendered him in two when they bore him away to the Shadowfell. Half of his essence remained here, amidst the curse. What stayed behind would have been the strongest part of him. But after all these years left in the darkness, corruption must have taken hold. It's both simple and not. We need to find Thaniel's missing half and make him whole again. Only the missing half may not come willingly. The curse will have sunk its tendrils deep, twisting Thaniel's essence into something else. And you saw this boy yourself. That can't be a coincidence, but we need to be sure. And I truly mean we, if you wish. Every moment counts, and I've asked much of you already without being at your side. If you want me, I'm yours. Against the curse, against the absolute... Anything. Just say the word. I hear nature's symphony in this place. Now... It is quiet. Quiet and dead. I can make some animal noises, if it will make you feel more at home. You bleat well enough as it is. I won fair and square. There's no point in playing again. I want a challenge. Though shrouded in shadows, the child's resemblance to Thaniel is unmistakable. This must be his dark half. Warped by the curse. Go on, find someone else to play with. Spoil sport. I'm not going back. I like it here. I've made a family for myself. I get to play all the time. Not harder. Impossible. I don't want to play with you anymore. He's fled. We need to track him down. Wherever the curse is the strongest, that's where he'll go. That's where he'll feel safe. everything I've ever wanted, right here! And you've ruined it! I'm not leaving. You can't make me. Be gentle. He's much more than a child. But he doesn't truly know that. He's nothing to me. He left me here all this time. I had to do everything for myself. Even when it was scary, even when I was alone. I didn't give up. But would he even want me back? I've changed. A lot. So 
Pedro wouldn't have to be alone anymore. He'd stay with me. Play with me. I'd like that. And he would too, I think. All right. I'll do it. I want to do it. Well done. Are you crying? You're a bit big to be crying. But I suppose that's okay. Bye. And thank you for playing with me. It's done, at last. Soon the land will be unshrouded. We should return to Thaniel when we can. The druid Halsin spoke to me while I was sleeping. He spoke of you. Said that you fought shadow and spite to restore me. A hundred years of sickness almost ended. I feel every root that riddles the earth beginning to unfold. But there is one anchor, still holding the shadows in place. The soul that brought it into being, for the land to heal. Ketherick Thorne must die. Oakfather preserve you. It's true, and I can't imagine I helped with that. Sometimes I let the task at hand consume me, and people think I'm obsessed. Trust me, the day I no longer have to talk about the Shadow Curse will be a happy one. What would you like to know? I am? <laughs> Trust me, it's been said. You show more restraint than most in avoiding the subject until now. Who's to say? <laughs> Perhaps there's a half-orc buried somewhere in my ancestry. Or perhaps not. Sometimes I think conventional wisdom is too narrow about what someone can or cannot be. Stranger things have most certainly happened. Honestly, I never thought I'd make it that far. But the Absolute is a threat to all, and I promised I'd help you with your parasite. So, I'll remain with you. If you'll have me, that is. So do I. But one duty at a time. Unshackled from shadows. She will rise in moonlit glory and carve a path of brightness to the accursed one's second death. So saith the wise Alondo. That beacon of angelic wrath has taken the fight to Catherick on the rooftop. In the first line of defense, are dead. But storming the tower won't be easy. And if we wait too long, Catherick will gather his strength and retaliate. For now, though, he's on the back foot for the first time since he returned from the grave. This is it the spearhead moment. You brought us this far. So how shall we proceed? At the ready, Harpers! In this light, there will be victory. In this light, we will avenge the fallen! <sighs> <laughs> The time has come. Gatherick will taste of death at last. You dare show yourself here after all you've done? You have betrayed me. You have betrayed General Thorm. You have betrayed our god! And for what? These harpers. Moonrise will be their tomb, and in death, you will all serve the Absolute. Boys, make this traitor bleed. Time for some bloody work.
Catherick's been studying something called the Apostle, but of which god? That's curious. She loved him very much. You. What have you done? What have you done to me? There is no redemption, can't you see? It is too late. If Melodia could see all I've done, she'd know. She'd know her husband died long ago with Isabel. Unlike Isabel, he could not be brought back. forgotten her embrace. Melodious. No saloons. But the Moon Maiden did not intervene when my life was dismantled piece by piece. And when I tried to buy it back, it cost me everything. Everything. We are copper pieces in their belts. Tokens to be traded for scraps. You have beaten me, true soul. But the gods beat me first. has come, and her sword is my sword. <laughs> Ketherick Thorne would sooner die than lay down his rank cause. Isn't that right, General? I was a fool to hesitate. Power like mine cannot be hidden, cannot be cowed. But power like mine has a price. A price I am destined to pay. You have one last chance to bow. Once it's gone, I'll have no choice but to destroy you both. Do you hear? My lord beckons me. You must return to your prison, and my daughter must be reclaimed. Your daughter? Isabel. Fall a 
as sure as she. This has only begun. The tentacle was colossal. How can such a thing be possible? That thing came from below. We need to find out where it took Ketrick. The General will call that a tactical retreat, I'm sure. But you have him on the run. That thing he summoned was illicit. Follow it below and find him, before he has a chance to subdue the Night Song again. The hole yawns back at you. Impossibly wide. A single tentacle burrowed through stone. The gaping abyss. You don't intend to jump, or do you? This must be where they harvest the tadpoles. We're close to the source of the infections. Tread carefully. We are very close to the source of the Absolute now. That telepathic storm has become a tempest. Mind flayers and civilians, side by side. This must be where they infect and transform those they kidnap. Your tadpole forms a telep. Every mind flayer in the room calls out hungrily from its pod, seeking release and sustenance. But there are others in the pods, those not yet infected, not yet illithid, terrified, desperate to escape. The device is open to your tadpole's command, to your authority. I didn't think I was going to make it. Thank you. I owe you an explanation. Much more than that. But first, please, the others, the ambush. Tell me they survived. You've heard some of it, I'm sure. That I froze, or broke, or some other lie that is kinder than the truth. We were ambushed by cultists, yes. And then I heard... Her. Their false god. Whispering promises in my mind. I would be a paladin again with a god's purpose, a god's power, everything I needed to protect my people. And all the while, the cult tortured them. They fought and ran and died around me while I imagined myself their savior. By the time I regained my senses, it was too late. I did not just surrender to the Absolute. For a moment, I welcomed. I fell short of that mark in Avernus, and even so, it was not so bad as this. I won't make excuses. I can't make amends. But I know something of what you came to do. I want to help, if you'll let me. Ketherick is below. He thinks you're no longer a menace. Descend and show him how wrong he is. If there are any more survivors to be found, I'll find them and lead them out of this place. And you, my friend, and pathetic, inadequate as it is. Thank you. Brine pools, but empty of tadpoles. Unusual. Harvesting all the larvae indicates they are getting ready for something big. Mazora, you're Zariel's asset. My dumb little stinker. Took you long enough. Now, my Grazit's cock get me out of this thing! I'll do it, and you'll set me free. That 
was the deal. Yeah, yeah. So, get to it already. The controls are open to your tadpole's command. To your authority. You did all right, Will. I'd give your belly a good rub, but never could stand the smell. You're free, Mazora. I held up my end. Now you hold up yours. Sever the pact. <clears throat> <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. If the soul binder consents to separation, she will release the soul bearer from all obligation within six months. Six months? Gods damn you! Ignorant thing. It's always the terms and conditions that get you. And to think you want to throw it away. Now, you've got business in the towers to take care of. Don't you fret. I'll find you soon enough. You're going to need me. Count on it. Oh, and go ahead. Tell your chums how we met. It's a real cracker of a tale. Ta-ta. Zariel's asset was none other than Mazora herself. Of course. Tricks on top of tricks on top of tricks. But I've only got six months before I made a free man. Thanks be to the Triad. No, scratch that. Thanks be to you. Bring death. Embrace! General Thorne was attacked. The order to evacuate given. You should not be here. I conclude you are one of the attackers! Trying to pull rank? And yet not a word of concern for our dear General. I shall present your bones to General Thorne as retribution for what you did to him! into life, a mind touches your own. Alien and full of desperate need, but fragmented too. It is incomplete. It yearns to connect, but needs you to guide the process, linking each part of your mind to its like. Well, welcome back, Master. Uh, 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 uh. That do it. Time to see what's back there. Your tadpole echoes, not with presence, but memory, tinged with loss. The grand design, order, perfection, unity, every plane, as one, every being in their place. That loss blooms into a sudden fury, burying claws in your mind. Taken. Corrupted. Gone. And just as suddenly, pain and memory are gone, leaving only stone once more. The grand design. The restoration of the Mind Flayer Empire. The dream of all Illithids. Whole fleet of Nautiloids. How many true souls have passed through this place? Is 
anyone else's tadpole squirming around more than usual? The presence in your mind builds to a roar. We've found it. The Absolute is behind this door. You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure. Like flies on lick-wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I have played my part. You've built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose all this time. And you ran from him. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. <clears throat> so you haven't lost your edge. But you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. The Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Border's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city, and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane! The Last of Thor! One of the cruelest and most powerful creatures in existence, enslaved by mere mortals. There we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guests. Behold, Duke Ravenguard, the Absolute. Whom preserve us? You wag your word flap in vain, Alderling. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve us. Shit, no! Father! Now, it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save it. It is time, faithful ones. March on Boulder's Gate. We go to prepare the way. As predicted. What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? You could have run away, absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. 
But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. Finer champions than you have tried and failed. But perhaps they lacked the fear that drives you. Your freedom hanging in the balance. Let us speak plainly. My Lord Merkel gave me the one thing I desired. The one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned. Her heart beating once more. For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute. And then... Take control of it. He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you as my servant. Join the army of the dead, true soul. Witness Lord Merkel's glory. No time for mercy. Have you not learned? I am beyond death, fool! Let my enemies fall. Kill me. I am eternal. Merkel, Lord of Bones, I am here. I am ready. I am yours.
death cannot take me. I am its master. My lord, hear me. Nothing. I am forsaken. You. You have no idea what you've done. Uh, Isabel. My sword. My fealty. Do what you must. Then we fly this foul place. In death, the body is cooling. But energy radiates from the stone. Remarkable. Truly. And now the picture comes together. The Absolute is neither God nor man. It is the Elder Brain you saw. Held here by those three against its will. The crown it wears controls it. And these stones control the crown. It has been dominated. To master an Elder Brain, to subdue it. Our enemies are formidable. A temporary reprieve, but a welcome one. With a brain on its way to the city, its influence here is weakened. The crown's markings suggest it was forged in Netheril. An ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. It is a crown of domination. The stones were taken from its crest. They are nether stones, imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. The crown's netherese magic must be the true source of the parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the Crown can do this to the Parasite, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the Brain. One of them I know, Lord Enver Gortash. An arms dealer and a slaver. A worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me. But the way she spoke, it is most likely she follows Baal. God of murder. Ketherick was a follower of Merkel, which means the Absolute is a front for the gods of death, and our enemies are the chosen of the dead three. Bane, Baal, and Merkel. The Tyrant, the Assassin, and the Necromancer. They are known to pick from their most devout followers, a chosen granting them incredible powers. Each one alone would be a formidable enemy. But working together and controlling an Elder Brain, I dare not imagine what they might achieve. Hope is a luxury for those who have a choice. This is the battle of our lives and the lives of everyone in Faerun. The Army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, an Elder Brain, brimming with power, 
ready to turn everyone within its reach into mind flayers. All it needs is an order. An order the Death God's Chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance comes to strike, you must take it, for there may only be one chance. Aelin! Isabel! My love! You are dead! I saw your body! I'm here. And... and so are you. And my father, he... He can't hurt us any longer. I dreamt every night that you'd come back to me. But somehow it was all a nightmare Dawn would undo. I had no dreams at all. Nothing but darkness. And when I woke, my father said you were dead. His soul was poisoned by the god of death. His sick devotion ruined him. But for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? I will be. And you? In this moment, I want for nothing. <laughs>